is Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing. You're watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. Now, in life, you either know something or you don't. And to some people, some answers are obvious. And then they criticise, say, how can you not know that? Are you stupid? And it's like anything in life. Um, you either know it or you don't. You know, if you haven't looked at it before, you've never heard about it before, you've never spoken about it before, then you just don't know. So when it comes to here, as a lot of you guys know, and I've said it before, there's no such thing as a stupid question. There's only stupid answers. Because many people are just coming into boxing now. And of course, they're not going to know. Much like I didn't know, you don't know many of the things that you do now. Because you've started following boxing more and more and reading things about it, having debates with people. And sometimes you get your backside handed to you on certain debates in your, in, in your early days. And that's how you learn. Okay, so one of the questions on the previous video was why is it that Anthony Joshua is not ranked in the WBC, even though he's defeated five of the top 10 currently. Now, for me, for you, it's an obvious answer, okay? But for those who don't know, you just don't know. So here's the answer. Because Anthony Joshua is champion in another sanctioning body. Sanctioning bodies are, or they consist of, there's four main ones, okay? And you need all four of those titles to become undisputed. WBC, WBA, IBF, WBO. Joshua has three of those, but he doesn't have the WBC. Deontay Wilder has the WBC. So Joshua, because he's a champion of one of the other ones, he can't be ranked by the WBC. Much like Wilder can't be ranked in one of the other sanctioned bodies because he's champion of WBC. So that's, in short, is the answer. But there are special circumstances where it can happen. So as I said, uh, to become undisputed, you need all four of those. Uh, Joshua does have the IBO as well. So that, listen, there are many, many sanctioning bodies, okay? There are many different titles you could hold, but you don't need any of those outside these top four to become undisputed. So you don't need the IBO that Joshua currently has as well as. So Joshua has four belts. But the IBO, you don't need it for undisputed. You don't need lineal. You don't need ring magazine. You don't need European. You don't need British. You don't need anything outside of the top four okay so there are some circumstances where joshua could be ranked but he would have to be ranked as the mandatory um a lot of you guys will remember when canelo he vacated his wbc title at middleweight because the wbc ranked as mandatory triple g Gennady golovkin even though he was champion of another sanctioned body when in fact it was two wasn't it it was ibf and the wba if i remember rightly so it can happen, but then it gives the WBC champion a side. Okay, Canelo wasn't happy with the split because um, as WBC champion, you get 70%, the challenger gets 30%. There are special circumstances, for example, with Tarson Fury and Deontay Wilder now, where they're forcing that fight, but Wilder is getting 60% opposed to his usual 70 because they believe that Tarson Fury brings marketable value. Okay, so they can change it, and for them to rank Joshua, even though Joshua is the A-side in every walk of life in boxing to Deontay Wilder, the WBC don't care that Anthony Joshua is a champion of another sanctioning body. In their mind, it's like any business, their business is WBC business, okay? So for them, their champion is always going to get the higher percentage of the split. So therefore, it's unlikely that Joshua's ever going to be ranked unless they can come up with some kind of deal. But as I said, the kind of deal that uh, Joshua would want, for example, 60% in his favour, the WBC are not going to agree to that. Even though in reality, they know that's probably more than fair, but they're not going to do it. So that's why Joshua's not ranked. The only way that Joshua and Wilder's going to fight is if these guys agree to fight each other. So they don't ever have to. If, if one of them just want to keep keep not, not fighting the other one, they don't have to, whatever the reason may be. So... Hopefully that's cleared up a lot of things. Um, I suppose one side note as well is that uh, Joshua was once ranked quite highly in the WBC before he was a champion of another sanctioning body. But as we know, I mean, just look at it right now, Wilder, he's fought one mandatory in four years. So there's a very good chance that Joshua could still be sitting there waiting for his opportunity had he not have taken the opportunity to fight Charles Martin for the IBF. So it, it actually turned out to be the right decision. So he then become world champion of another sanctioned body. In, in reality, I think Wilder, he should have fought Charles Martin. Then he would, he would have been a unified champion. Then we would have none of this A-side, B-side nonsense, right? 
okay, because he would then hold two belts. But the opportunity was presented to Anthony Joshua, and because he fought and defeated Charles Martin to become IBF world champion, he then got pulled out of the rankings. He then gets dropped because he's a champion of another sanctioning body. As I said, it was probably the right decision to make. One mandatory in four years is disgusting. And the fact that Wilder historically has never taken on any top 15, or sorry, any top 10 opponents. He's always done it from 15 to 11. Historically, that's what he's always done. Um, but so there's a very good chance that, that Joshua could be fighting everybody and still not getting his world title shot. And he probably wouldn't be as big a star as he is now because he's not because he wouldn't have been champion. So he made the right decision going after Charles Martin. Then he went and unified and got the WBA title, which was vacant against Vladimir Klitschko. Then, of course, Joseph Parker, which is why Joshua has three of the main belts. But he still needs the, the WBC, but he can't be ranked unless the, the split is going to be in his favour, which WBC are not going to do. Anyway, for those of you who already knew this, again, it's obvious for you, right? But for those of you who didn't know about it hopefully now i haven't confused you which is a very good chance that i have and uh, hopefully you understand a little bit more anyway that's what's going on drop your thoughts below click thumbs up and of course subscribe catch you all on the next video